are we going to do? Dear God, what are we going to do? Managing. Perhaps it would be better for all of us if we couldn't manage, then they'd have to do something. Maybe if I became an alcoholic, I could. Oh God, I think I could sometimes. When I go next door to Suzanne's some nights and we sit and get a bit tight together on whiskey and just talk about all sorts of things, then just for a little while, I can forget. Thoughts stop going round and round in my head. The relief of just feeling like an ordinary person. The relief. Supposing when Miss Everett social services and called the day she'd found me lying dead drunk on the floor. Dear me, Mrs. Taylor, we're not managing wonderfully well today. <laughs> Imagine your own child driving you to drink. Your own child that you love. I don't even know if I do love her. I don't know what I feel. Pity. Oh, pity for her. Why did it have to happen? Poor Verity, poor, poor baby. <laughs> but there's fear too. She seems to like to frighten me. Enjoys it. She never does it to Edward. I really think sometimes she hates me. And he's so good to her. So patient and kind. All those holidays he takes her on, he doesn't talk about them much afterwards, but I know, I know she crucifies him. And I feel mean and cowardly because I didn't go too. I'm guilty. Did I do it? Was it my fault? When I was pregnant with her, all those weeks she was inside me. And I thought she was so safe. Nothing could hurt her. And yet all the time. Was it me? Did I contaminate her? Oh God. She was so beautiful when she was a baby. Even now when I look at her sometimes when she's asleep. When I'm out with her, sometimes I wish she was ugly, crippled or deformed. Something people could see. Then they'd pity her too instead of getting nervous and embarrassed and moving away from us as if we were lepers. Oh God. Will nobody help us? Can nobody help us?